Yo, what is up everybody? It's Snake here and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play here on the channel. As you guys can see, today we are starting up Soma, a game that I don't know anything about. I've only seen maybe the first five minutes of gameplay uh, and that was a long time back ago. So I really don't know anything about this game. However, it is a game that's made by the same people that made Amnesia The Dark Descent, which we just got done playing here on the channel. And I figured, why not go ahead and start up another scary game? Uh, I think this is relatively short. Uh, I don't think it's too long. So, perfect for the channel. So, with that said, hopefully you guys are excited for Soma. Of course, if you are, go ahead and drop a like on the videos. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, with that said, feel free to just sit back, relax, and enjoy Soma as we get into things. So, let's go ahead and start up a new game and get right into it. I'm very, very excited. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, it doesn't go away. Hmm. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? So what? Oh. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's pick yeah, this up. Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. All right, so move around, use W, okay, we, we got it. Uh, so I guess we were in an accident with our brain, and then we were in another accident a while ago. I have no idea. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You work this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail. So I don't know. You can throw this. All right. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Alright, what's this? He sent an email to Mapping minds? Wait, oh, we can use the mouse. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Alright. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Alright. So we need that fluid. What's this? Drawings? Okay. Get well soon. Love mom. How nice. From David Munchie. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when it's confirmed. Okay. Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it'll adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh, but we might have to do that. Better Since you probably that. forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. 
I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. Alright, oop. How do we get out of here? Oh, like that. Okay. So tracer fluid, tracer fluid. Tracer fluid. We need tracer fluid. Uh, wait, what can we do? We can use... Okay. Feet in the sand, okay. There we go. Alright, this is our crib, it looks like. Not a bad place. What's this? Massive recoil? <laughs> Alright. Let's just look for that trace of fluid, I guess. Make a mess while we're here. What's this? Nope. Okay. I don't know if we're supposed to leave. To do. Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. Oh. Okay. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier in my way home. Nah, we're good. Continue eating the pizza. Um, there we go. Alright, so maybe this uh, tracer fluid is not in here. I'm assuming. It's in the bathroom. No. Where did we put this tracer fluid? Let's go out here then. Before I go see Dr. Oh, I thought maybe that would take us to another room. This is our entire crib, and I don't see the tracer fluid. Where on earth would we put? I'm assuming it's in the bathroom, right? Oh, we can turn on the water. Sweet. Uh, let's close that. No tracer fluid. Huh. Did I put it away? Use the mouse while holding objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how do I... Downtown accident kills a young woman? Yesterday, a dr driver distracted by her children ran a red light causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised and largely unharmed. The other party was less likely, as the car crashed into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from, I'm assuming suffocated, yeah, suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived both complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Huh. Wow. Okay. So then what was, uh, what was wrong with us before the car accident? Or was there something that I needed or no? Because we were talking about, um, we were talking about, like, drinking something in the car. So, obviously, something had to have happened to us before that accident. Right? Alright, where on earth? I do want to let you guys know right now. Uh, if you're new to my channel and you've never seen me Let's Play game, uh, I'm not very good uh, at video games. Uh, I'm pretty clueless. Wait, what was that magnifying glass thing? Saw so, like a magnifying glass thing on the screen, I thought. Oh, this. Alright, we already saw that. Yeah, I'm pretty clueless, but... We have a blast, though. We have a good time. I don't know where on earth this drink of fluid is. I'm assuming it's probably, like, in here. 
Now that I think about it. No. What's this? Hooked? Nah, that's not what we need, right? It's in here. It's in here. Are you in here? No, where on earth it? What? Where on earth is this? What on earth? Whoa, what's that like square thing? Huh. Yeah, I have no clue. Hmm. Is it up in here? There it is. Oh wow, why did we put it in there? To use an object to have acquired. First mouse, okay. Why on earth would we put it up there? Okay. I mean, I guess. Milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Ugh. All right, so now we can get the heck out of here and go see the doctor. All right. All right, don't mind us. Just just taking the subway. Hmm. Uh, whose phone is that? Oh, that's ours. Jesse. Oh, uh, we probably should answer. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. No, it's Reddit. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matt even from SNL? She's coming back. Oh, Oof. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what did I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Whole dying thing. <laughs> All right. I hope they reverse it too. All right. So we're going to Pace Laboratories. I'm assuming we work at a bookstore, I think. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Hello? I thought this place would be busy. Anybody here? This place is even like finished. They're like under construction. Are we at the right place? I mean, okay, I guess. Biometrics. This is the place, right? It must be. Is it locked? Let's just call Munchie real quick. All right. Good idea. Great. Got his phone turned off. All right. That's Never okay. mind. I can figure this out. All right. Let's just get some water. Drink that up. All right, what's over here? Scan now, Paul. Where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you? Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lab, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of a as a kind of office. It allows to use their computers to run miles, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. David, shouldn't they already know how to use the equipment or no? Kind of suspicious. Kind of suspicious. Uh, I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project. I 
and finally got hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could regrant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat this code, to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Paul. Alright. I'm guessing we need to find a note. Is this the note? Whoa. 2501. Is that the code? Is that the code? To the door. Anything else in here for us to pick up? Drown the air. Put your scalp away! The brain can heal itself? Hmm. Okay, well, let's get in this, uh. Dr. Munchie? Can you hear let's me? Let's get in here. Hello? So I think it was 2501. Hey, there we go. Easy peasy, hold shift. We know. We got this. Okay, that door's locked. That's locked. That's locked. I'm assuming this is going to be the only open door. Oh, this one's open too. Oh. Somebody's in there. What's in here? Is it got a server room or something? There obviously has to be a reason for this to be open, right? Okay. What are these papers? Can I read these? I guess not. No. Okay, well let's go ahead and uh, meet up with Dr. Munchie, I believe it was. Hello. Oh, hi. What's poppin'? You come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? That's well, me. It's, uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right. So what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This dude, uh, I don't know how, if I trust him. Let's go ahead and sit down. Now, this looks sketchy and unprofessional. I think we're making a bad decision. I think we're done goofing. Oh, yeah, we goofed up. Goofing up big time. Oh, boy. Oh, my. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Correct. Toronto, Canada. This is Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Virgin. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ready? Huh? Say cheese. I, I knew this was um was not a good idea. I knew it. I knew it, and he wouldn't listen to me. This isn't funny. Right. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. Just follow the red light. What on earth? Oh God. Oh, we're not even back where we. What is this place? How did I get here? What on earth? I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Now what's this? Automated lock terminal from service console? Um... Oh, 
Dr. Munchie, what have you done? Alright, what's this? Server console? Insert Omni tool to access? Like that? Oh, goodness. Um. What on earth? Okay. Where on earth are we? Oh my goodness. Okay, well. What's this say? Insert Omni tool to access. Well, I don't have an Omni tool, do I now? Do I have an Omni tool? And then what's this say? Okay, so in order to in order to use this, I guess I need to pick something up. If I just throw this, what if I throw this at this? This will do the trick, right? I mean, why would they tell me that? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is throw this at something? Unless I can. I have to put like this on or something? I don't know. Alright, well that's a boot. Or a shoe. <laughs> of some sort. Let me see. Let me get this chair out of the way. Can I open up this? No. I have no idea what an Omni tool even is. What on earth is an Omni tool? what an omni tool even is I'm not terminal from service console hmm what's this okay this guy needs to go is this something I can touch no no I guess not okay Alright, I guess with that being said, uh, unless this is something I can touch, no. I think with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode 1 of Summer right here before we get too far into anything else. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up what on earth. Um... Is someone there? What on earth is happening? I'm just trying to end off the episode. Okay, I don't know what the heck is happening. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode 1 of Summer right here. Um, I'm not sure what on earth is happening. But... I guess we'll go ahead and find out in the next episode. With that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If so, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video as that would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, take care, have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.